PD Nice here. A little late, but better than ever. Uh, for the uh, fast lane prediction card. What I want to say is I'm not very thrilled with this pay-per-view, if you can even call it that. Because it doesn't really have a lot of great matches on it. And I feel like every match will be rematched at WrestleMania with the few I'm going to say. So let's get going with what I predict will be on this card. For the pre-show, The Miz with CB with Paul Heyman, Brock Lesnar apparently won't be there. Expected to be interrupted by Brian and Reigns, or The Rock maybe even, or something like that. Also, I've been predicting on a pre-show, Adam Rose vs. Fandango. If you've been watching SmackDown and Superstars, you know he's a face now. Or Fandango, uh, not Fandango, Adam Rose vs. R-Truth, Return of the Bunny is my prediction. Or we're never going to see this bunny again. A match that I would like to add on to the main card is just two. Um, a six-man tag team match pitting the team of Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, and Ryback against Seth Rollins and j, &J Security, or Seth Rollins in the Big Show and Kane. I feel like they can definitely have a match, and I wouldn't be surprised if this happened. Uh, Bray Wyatt in a match. Oh, I need to go back. Uh, I'm I'm actually on Wikipedia right now, and uh, I need to go to the WWE. Let's see. I want Bray Wyatt in a match, but I really don't know who would really put him against. I thought Chris Jericho like his surprise or RBD in a surprise. And they lose. Um. Not Randy Orton. Not Sheamus. I'm going to say maybe Jericho or uh, uh, RBD. But maybe, I'm looking at here, maybe Jack Swagger could fit that position pretty well too. So those are my predictions at the pre-show. Um, I did not read the SmackDown spoilers, but according to Wikipedia, which I said I was on, it appears that Stardust for Goldust is going to get added to the card. I say this ends like a DQ or a count out. This match has to be rematched at WrestleMania. Title versus. Uh, no title. Career versus. Something of Stardust. How about this? Goldust career versus Stardust. If Stardust loses, he has to go back to Cody Rhodes. And they can never be Stardust again for WrestleMania. But for right now, I'm going to say Goldust is probably going to pick it up on a DQ or a count out or some odd way. Um, we also have on the card the Usos with Naomi against the Brass Master Ring, I think they're called. Oh, the Brass. The Brass Ring Club. Takes the kids Cesaro with Natalia. Now, I actually have one more preview match that I want to add on. Natalia and Naomi have been fighting. Uh, main event, and when well, they had the mixed tag team on Raw, I guess. I don't know what they did anything on SmackDown. But, maybe have a one-on-one -on -one match with Natalya finally winning. Uh, oh, by the way, I think I forgot to say this, but I'm having the faces win in the six-man tag I predicted earlier. And, uh, Anna Rose obviously losing. Uh, what was the other match I predicted? Bray Wyatt winning with Starbucks against whoever he goes up against. Um, yeah, so, um, I don't like the Usos personally, but I'm going to go with the Usos and maybe they lose the titles to Kid and Cesaro uh, uh, at WrestleMania or the Ascension later on. Speaking of WrestleMania, I just remember another match I would like to add on. The Ascension versus Harlem Heat. Yeah, I know this is not going to happen, but I would love to see it because Book was in a... Booker T, that is. Was it part of that? Uh, well, he wasn't really part of it, but he's calling it. He's been... Disgusted with the Ascension. So, Booker T, Harlem Heat, Stevie Ray, Reunion. The Ascension would win. But that was said about a hell of a match against the APA. Um, Bad News Barrett versus Dean Ambrose. I'm going to win a DQ or count it again. Or Bad News Barrett takes a cheap win. Why do I feel like this? Because um, two years ago at WrestleMania uh, 29... 
I had thought there was no way that Brandis Barrett was losing to the Miz on the pre show. Well, uh, I, that was one of the matches I got wrong, and uh, then he went back like 26 hours later. I don't think that's going to be the case with Dean Ambrose, but I do think uh, Dean Ambrose will pick up a win at WrestleMania. So, bad news that defends or gets cut out of the squad by here. Um, and now we'll leave you guys with the last four things. So, let's get through the Divas. I really want Paige to win the title, but I don't think it's going to happen until WrestleMania. Uh, but I think at WrestleMania, because nobody really cares about the Divas at WrestleMania anyway, I think you should just have, like, a six or seven way. Naomi, Natalia, Summer Rae. I had to put Summer Rae there because I am Summer Rae fan. Paige, AJ, Tamina, Charlotte, Brie, and Nikki. That, where, how many that ended up to? I, that's where I'm going with WrestleMania. Oh, and if Layla's back, I would put her in there, too. But right now, we have Nikki with Brie against Paige. And I think it's going to be some cheap win. But I think it's still going to be a win. And I think this is going to be decisive, people. And I don't think I have made a decisive DQ. Except the Usos win with the Usos splash. <laughs> Alright, Rack Attack for the win. The uh, Sting versus Triple H. I think it's just going to be them. And he's going to try to beat down Sting. And then... That's it. They signed the match for WrestleMania. That is it. I don't think there's a lot more. Somebody gets beat down. No, no, no. Let's go Rusev versus Cena. Because Rusev with Lana versus Cena for the U.S. title. John Cena is not winning the United States title. I think this is going to happen. Rusev may pin him actually here. And John Cena has to go into a revenge at WrestleMania. But he will not tap out. Maybe he'll pass out. Maybe he'll get a DQ or count out again. But this is the, uh, here what I think. If he gets counted out or disqualified, he's going to complain and complain. And it's Cena's fault for not giving up. And then he'll relinquish the United title for, like, a, a match. And where are the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal? And I'm going to have a WrestleMania prediction card. So you're going to hear this. Will be the new United States champion. Yes. All right. So, and then, with that being said, we have the last match: Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. And I keep on saying Roman Reigns must take on The Rock at WrestleMania 31. So it's gonna be like last year, people. Reigns is gonna go through Rock to get to Bryan and Lesnar. But I am going for Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. My favorite celebrity is paid in list from Jesse, and he won the title on her birthday, so I have to go with my man, Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, yes. And that's what I got for Fastlane. Join me for WrestleMania. Join me for my Pokemon conspiracy theories. Join me for new conspiracies I'm digging up with no evidence. So support them, and I will see you down the road. And our next road we might meet, for you wrestling fans out there, will be WrestleMania. And I can't wait to give you, see what's going on, and give you my predictions for WrestleMania. So in the meantime, between times, stay nice for disability rights.